Welcome to Ottawa County Circuit Court Jury Duty. Now what will happen when you first walk into the courtroom is we will have social distancing when we uh, select our jurors. In fact, we'll have jurors in multiple locations within the building to ensure for social distancing during the jury selection process. So some of our jurors will be in this courtroom, some will be in an adjacent courtroom, and some may be on the lower level. Now many jurors will receive a notification request to call in for service. We will try to stagger them in. We have our screens, which obviously uh, are there for safety purposes, and it separates uh, members from the gallery, from the actual jurors, and from the participants in the trial. We have actually expanded our jury box into the floor of the courtroom, because typically we will seat 12 or even 14 jurors for a case uh, for that. So what we have done is we have taken half of our big courtroom, the floor, and we're using that to allow jurors to socially distance and at the same time protect them. You'll notice screens in front of where the jurors are uh, so that the jurors will come in, go behind the screens. That way they are isolated from all the participants in the trial and any members of the public who may be viewing uh, later on. And then uh, what we have over here is we have uh, condensed our uh, tables for the participants, the defendants and the plaintiff or the prosecution. So the defense table will be here, the prosecution table here, and we have again established a plastic barrier between those two tables. When our witnesses come up to testify, we're actually asking them that they maintain their mask wearing through this process, take the oath. Once they are seated, we're asking them to take their masks off so the jurors can evaluate a credibility by, through the facial expressions, etc. Obviously we have plexiglass which protects the witness who's not wearing a mask at that point in time. It also protects the jurors who are, who are seated in this area as well. And we have a division between the witness and the judge as well. Uh, as far as uh, who is allowed not to wear a mask, again, aside from the witness who testifies, the attorneys, when they are addressing the witness or when they are addressing the jury in their opening or closing statements, uh, should they so choose, they, they have been given and will be given permission to remove their masks so that they can engage uh, in a conversation with the jurors. And although we are asking that the attorneys maintain close proximity to the podium over there to once again to ensure uh, safety uh, purposes. We have a jury deliberation room, but it's simply not big enough to allow for social distancing during our deliberations. So we will take our jurors out to the back door and then into an adjacent courtroom, and that will be their jury room, and they can socially distance as far as, pretty much as far as they want. It's a pretty good sized room. And then the exterior doors, of course, to, the, to that courtroom, jury room are locked and there's a barrier so nobody can see what's going on in there. But we really value uh, safety and we want everybody to feel safe and secure as they, as they evaluate the issues that have been brought before them as triers of fact. And it's important that the jurors are very comfortable in this process knowing that we have taken pretty much every step that we can take to ensure safety. We did do a few trials in August and September when we were up and running before we were uh, shut down again. And we surveyed those jurors as to what their opinions were as to how the process went as far as their comfort level in serving as a juror. And we were very pleased with the results that were given. Uh, many jurors were very satisfied with the process that we, that we had in place. A few jurors thought it was pretty much overkill, uh, that they felt that we took too many steps to uh, uh, ensure cleanliness and those types of things. And a couple of jurors uh, were concerned that in the jury room, some jurors did not socially distance. Obviously, uh, the judge only has limited capability in controlling what happens within a jury room. But all in all, they were very positive results. The jurors were very comfortable in this, and we were very pleased with the process in August, September, and we look very much forward to uh, re-engaging with our juries in April of this year, because as we know, uh, Everybody is entitled to a trial by jury if they so chose. And it's a constitutional right, and that constitutional right is not suspended during pandemics or any other crisis. Our constitution is in place to protect citizens during crises, and we cannot suspend the constitution. So this is a very important process in our justice system, in your justice system. So that's how we're going to do that, and uh, we look forward once again to serving the public at a very high level in April.